Now, here is a very interesting uh, interpretation we can uh, further derive in the context of uh, uh, incompressible flow field. So in the last lecture, we derived the mass conservation equation for incompressible flow field. What we get is the divergence of velocity equal to zero, right? So that's uh, what we derived uh, last time, which uh, uh, specifically means uh, du dx plus dv dy equal to zero, right? Now that's interesting because if we have a du dx plus dv dy equal to zero, we can actually expand uh, this uh, uh, momentum flux term into something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more intuitive to explain. We can actually equate this influx of uh, uh, momentum as a directional derivative, a directional derivative of momentum density itself. So what I claim is that, uh, uh, take a d dx of rho uv plus d dy of rho v v is actually equal to, let me write this down, is equal to v dot nabla of v. Well, this notation looks uh, 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 scary first, but what this means is really just a, a derivative or rate of change of something along the streamline, right? So if you have uh, a bunch of uh, streamlines of flow going into this direction, this operator is essentially looking at, okay, if I take some point downstream of the streamline and take another point a little bit upstream of the streamline, what is the difference? What is the slope of change of some quantity? And in this case, uh, sorry, not, not uh, uh, we have to multiply rho on, on top of everything. Uh, yeah, so, so in, in this case, uh, what we are looking at is the rate of change of velocity itself along a streamline. So let's see why that is the case. And to see that we just, uh, uh, um, we just uh, factor out the derivative. ddx of rho u v. Oh, we are also assuming rho is constant. So if rho is constant, uh, first of all, we can pull rho out. And we have derivative of u times v, right? And then derivative of u times v can be expanded as just the derivative of u times v plus u times the derivative of v, right? Similarly, we can expand the rho v times vector v in the same way. What we get is derivative of v with respect to x times this big v plus rho v dot derivative of velocity vector. Oh, with respect to y, sorry. This is r with respect to y. Now, when you add uh, these two terms together, uh, rho is the same, vector v is the same. If you add these two terms together, what you find out is that we get this divergence of velocity, which is equal to zero, right? If you add them. Okay, that means this, uh, the total of the momentum flux can just be equal to the summation of the second term. So let's write this uh, down, what these are. This is a rho times u times the x derivative of v plus v times the y derivative of v, right? So essentially what this is saying is that, okay, if I have a streamline that goes in this direction and we can decompose it into a u and v, I want to multiply the x direction rate of change by how big the u velocity, the x velocity is. And I want to multiply the y directional rate of change by how big uh, uh, the 
why velocity is. So essentially, I'm looking at, okay, uh, if I take this point to look at the quantity here, and I want to look at uh, what's the quantity when I go towards the right for a magnitude of uh, a u, and then I go upward for a magnitude of a v, what is the uh, quantity here? So, so essentially, I'm taking a rate of change along the streamline direction, right? So this is what we write out as rho times, well, uh, v dot blah, blah. Just uh, this, just to think of this as a notation. That's uh, uh, the rate of change, a directional derivative, what we call, of vector v along the v direction. All right. So. Um, this is essentially uh, another form of the momentum conservation, right? Uh, the time derivative of a momentum is equal to the uh, rho times the directional derivative of velocity itself along the velocity direction minus gradient of P, which is the pressure force. And uh, uh, in particular, if we have a steady state flow field, if we have a steady state flow field, the time derivative, remember we are fixing a control volume, fixing a point, right? The time derivative is zero. And uh, uh, then the only thing we have is the directional derivative of momentum, okay? and uh, the pressure force, they balance each other. So this is the momentum conservation for steady state flows.